John Davidson here with Springworks Equipment Group. Let's get ready for another episode of Fix It Friday. John Davidson here with this week's episode of Fix It Friday. This week's episode is a follow-up to a series that we're discussing about PMC hoses, and the various kinds of hoses that you might come across in your day-to-day -day operations. Today we're discussing the hose and some of the features about the hose. Prior to we dig into the different types of hoses, real quick at, at how, they're, how they're made. Uh, the standard uh, hydraulic hose is what they start with. Uh, there's, two, there's two pressure ratings with your hoses. Uh, typically, if you're doing spray foams, you're going to have a 2,000 PSI rated hose, or what we call a standard hose. And if you're doing coatings like polyurea or urethane coatings, you might be using the higher pressure systems, which are 3,500 PSI. Uh, all the whips that you order from PMC, the heated whips, are 3,500 PSI. It's just a standard. However, there's a substantial savings when you go down to a standard hose as opposed to a coating higher pressure hose once you, once you start digging in and doing the lower lower pressure uh, systems. So you want to make sure that you're getting the right uh, pressure for your system and, uh, and go from there. But uh, uh, one of the features of PMC's hose is the way that their heating element works. They have a, a A side and B side and they're bundled together with an air supply line along with uh, insulation and this heating element. And in the case of a, of a communication line, a TSU temperature sensing unit, you'll also have the proper communication wire in those hoses. All the hoses are designed to heat, except for the, the, the non-heated whips. They do supply the 30-inch non-heated whips, uh, which you still, you still do run a heated hose up to that point, and only a short distance is, in, is not heated. Um, sometimes in the winter, if, if it's left sitting, the heat doesn't reach the gun within the hose, requiring you to to do a test shot off shot, which is standard procedure anyhow before you start to spray. So uh, sometimes it just becomes a nuisance in those regards. Um, and then and then oftentimes you have guys that forget to do their test shots and just gonna spray them when the conditions are good. You might get a little uh, shot of off ratio to begin with. But uh, that's just again down to due diligence. You know, PMC whips will come standard with the scuff jacking on. Other than that, the, the 50 foot lengths you do have a choice when it comes to the scuff jacking. We also sell our version of uh, scuff jacking here at Sprayworks, uh, just the standard uh, conventional style. Available in lengths of uh, 50 foot or we can accommodate uh, longer lengths if you so need it. Uh, all the PMC hoses are going to come with the, the electrical bullet connectors. They come with two of those. The black line is your uh, voltage line, that's where the heat is drawn through the hose. Uh, these run all the way up to the whip end uh, where the circuit's created. I'm gonna show you an example of that in a moment. You'll have a male and a female end to the uh, air lines. <clears throat> You'll notice the, uh, the A and the B lines are capped, uh, male and female ends as, as well. Uh, they're JIC fittings, uh, number five and six, I believe. Uh, you'll notice that the resins are larger fittings than the ISOs are, so it's uh, it's not impossible, but uh, it's not very often you can get those confused. Uh, you'll notice that the, the A side, the ISO side, the hardener side uh, is marked red, and your B side, your resin sides, um, are generally blue. And that runs pretty standard amongst the various uh, manufacturers. You'll notice over here to the left, you'll see a standard 50-foot section of hose bare, no hose jack. Here in the middle, you have a whip hose. Whip hoses usually come with scuff jacket on them, already installed at the factory, and they're a 3,500 PSI rated hose. Over here on the right, you'll see a hose from the factory with a scuff jacket on. It's a protective jacket and it goes over to protect the insulation and the wires. And then it also has the purple wire purple wire is a communication line that is required in order to run a temperature sensing unit. This purple wire doesn't come standard on every hose, but it does 
on, on systems that do require communication to the equipment. Comment below and tell us what you would like to see in our next Fix It Friday. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more of these videos.